cross is uh, simply too strong even for such a good axe as this. I broke it. Oh? Can Big Dan get on it right away? Yes. Yes, no problem. Your bridle would have to wear clean through before you could save enough money to buy that one, son. <laughs> You're right, Pa. If it weren't for the money, Mr. Stewart's gonna pay me to write Zachary's story. Speaking of which, I have to go meet them over at the boarding house. Adam? The boy's already lived it once. I don't see why anyone would want to make him go through it again. Pa, uh, Mr. Stewart said that Zachary said that all those rumors about the... Well, you know, you know the, um, the... Cannibalism. Now, it is one thing. If, in order to survive, one is forced to eat the flesh of another person who is already frozen to death. But in the case of the Donner Party, they say they did not wait for them to die. They say? Who are they? See, this is exactly what Mr. Stewart wants to disprove, Pa. How much have you saved? For the new bridle. About ten dollars. How much? Uh, Twenty-five. There. Now you don't need to write the story. Pa. Leave well enough alone, son. No. No, I... I can't take it. I would have taken the bridle if I were you. Morning, Ben. What can I do you for? Coffee, please, Shelby. <sighs> Shelby? Well, we just didn't get enough sleep, that's all. Well, let's sit you down over here. Come on. All right, easy. Easy. Oh. I'll get you some water. No, I, I probably just need some air. Hey, what? Virgil! What is that? Get your sorry behind up and go face the day. I'm going. I'm going. I better be moving along myself. What about your coffee? I changed my mind. On the house? That's very kind of you, Shelby. But... Ben, sit down. Please. There ain't too many men come my way that I can trust. But I reckon you'd keep a secret. Of course I would. <laughs> there ain't no easy way to say this, so I figure I'll just spill the beans. I'm with child. I can't be having no baby, Ben. I ain't fit to be nobody's mom. All I know is running a saloon. I agree. The saloon isn't the best place to raise a child, Shelby, but... Sometimes life serves up surprises that change our lives. It doesn't have to be for the worse. In fact, it could be for the better. you'll do what's best for yourself and your baby. You've been given a real gift. You're gonna be a mother. <laughs> now, son, you just... Tell Mr. Cartwright the truth, and he can stop all the bad stories. It's 
It's all right, Zachary. He's here to help. Now you go on and you tell him what really happened. How about if I talk to your father first? Why don't you go on outside and see the horse? I'm sorry, he's a, he's a good boy. That's good, girl. Just keep on eating. You'll be strong and milk. I know how she feels. Like, she'll never get enough. You think so? Being hungry is different than starving. Just knowing that food's coming. And the hungrier you are, the better it's gonna taste. Here. Thanks! Aren't you gonna have any? Not till I'm hungry. Hey, you wanna feed her? Can I? Sure. She'd like you to. What's her name? She's Mrs. Deveros, but I call her Lucky. That's why we were, alright. Hey, girl. I'm afraid I have to disagree with you. I just don't think you can force Zachary to talk about it. But it would be so much better if he could put it in the past. Frankly, Mr. Stewart, his behavior indicates that the things people say happened may have actually happened. Oh, no, Zachary swore to me no such atrocities occurred, and he wouldn't lie. Well, there are others. Yes, there were. Like your father, for instance. What? That's right. When we first got into town, Zachary recognized him right off. Said he carried him out on his back. My father was never involved in a rescue party. Are you sure? 